What's going on crew? Big C Nano 210 back again with another tutorial. This is actually a tutorial that I should have done ages ago and I think it was in the first version of my server manager tutorial. Um, so a guy named Joey sent me a message saying, Yeah, Big C, how do you fuck on with the uh, serveradmin.xml file? And I was like, well, I've already done a tutorial on this. Why is he asking me? And then I, and then I realized that actually, no, I haven't done a tutorial on this at all. So that's what today's tutorial is. And thank you very much, Joey, for pointing this shit out. Okay, so here we go. The server XML file, first off, is in C, or wherever you've installed it, do you see users, whatever the username is that it's installed to, um, app data, roaming, bear in mind if you can't see the app data folder, you might have to unhide it in the control panel, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Seven days to die, saves, and then there is your server XML file. If you don't know how to get there, uh, one second. If you're sorry, if you don't know how to unhide the file, this is how you do it. You go into Control Panel, Folder Options, View, and then Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, and then the Update Folder will appear. That's the reason why it's like you can only half see it. But anyway, so in there, Roman Seven Days to Die saves, and then this is the file that gets read for all of your save games or your server for seven days to die. Now, when you open it for the first time, um, there is, one second, there is actually not a lot in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, there's not a lot of commands, there's not a lot of shit you can do, there's not a lot of stuff configured, but I'm gonna show you how to do all that. So, the first thing we wanna know is what commands do we have? Um, and here is a list I'll put the link to this page in the description here is a list of all the different commands that you can do in game. In order to do that, you would press the tilde button, which is the button beside one above tab on your keyboard, and that'll open the console, and then you can type these commands in. So you'll be able to type, uh, I don't know, uh, DM as debug mode, which allows you like God mode, or CM as creative mode. Or you could type ban, or you could type kick, or whatever fucking floats your boat. So, let me explain to you the way that it works. The way that it works is you have levels. Now, a level, the highest level you could possibly get in 7 Days to Die is level 0. Okay, now bear with me, I'll show you where this comes in at the minute. 0 is your master server admin. This is the person who will have the highest level of permissions. He has... If you imagine, zero is at the top, 1,000 is at the bottom, because you can have up to 1,000 different tiers of, um, of permissions in 7 Days to Die. I mean, you usually only use a few, but you can't have up to 1,000. So anyway, your master admin, he has all of the commands, all of the really special high-up commands, kind of like debug mode, creative mode, shit like that. Next down the line, you'll have someone like admin. Now, admin might have kick... He might have ban, he might have creative mode, but he won't have debug mode. And then next up, you've got your mods, like your your, for, uh, your server mods, if some people have them. They might have the ability to kick. Uh, another one as well, you might have, I don't know, uh, paying users, and you might give them the ability to teleport or some shit like that, I don't know. Whatever, by the way, you can have tons of different tiers. Now the way that it works is, as an example, if mod has the ability kick and admin has just the ability ban, then because one is higher than two, one will have everything two has got. So it means admin automatically has kick from two and then he's got ban from one. And master admin has DM, bear in mind we said admin would have creative mode, as well so admin would automatically have creative mode debug mode which is dm and cm kick and ban okay now let me just show you this on my real server so this is the xml file that i use for my actual server and it's already got some shit filled in on it okay so when we scroll down a bit the first thing we need to do is add some people so these are basically saying I have five, five special users. When I say special users, they have various levels of administration. Now, if we look here, we've got 
three super admins, one admin, and one mod. Okay? Now, if we have a look down here, we can see what permissions that they've got. Again, you get your permissions off that, uh, off that web page that I just showed you before on here. So, as an example, we can see here CM creative mode. Oh, it's actually fucking not on here. What a bitch. Uh, if you've got DM, you automatically get access to CM, so that was a bit of a bad example. Uh, but we can use kick as an example. So, permission level one, it means these guys have all got access to kick, but this person doesn't. DM, which is debug mode, is level zero, so only these three have got access to it. Okay? So, say is permission level 1000, which if, if it's set as 1000, it means everybody on the server can do it. You know what I mean? Like public, absolutely everybody. So just as an example, this would be quite funny. If you made kick permission level 1000, it would technically mean anybody could kick anybody out of your server. And you don't want that, believe me. So anyway, yeah, this is what my permissions look like on my server. Um, you can, so just as an example, say I wanted to put a new ability in. So say I wanted, um, so the easiest way to do this is just copy and paste. And say I wanted some, I wanted my admins, my super admins, to be able to set the time. So I would say set time, permission level zero. So only these three people here have the ability to set the time. Get it? It's as simple as that. So that would mean technically they could make daytime, nighttime, or do anything they want like that in relation to the set time command. Okay. Next up is the whitelist. Be very fucking careful when using the whitelist. If there is anything, it says it here, if there is anything in this whitelist, what it'll mean is only these people are allowed on the server. Okay? So it won't just mean these are preferential people or anything like that. It will mean that, as an example, if I put these four in here, then it would mean that only those five people could connect to the game. So that would be pretty shit. Next up is blacklist. So blacklist is the equivalent of ban. Um, so as you can see, you've got the Steam ID, you've got the date, time, unbanned date is, uh, well, on my server, if you get banned, you get banned for a year. Um, and I can put a reason in there if I want. So I could say, I don't know, he was a fucking twat. Uh, I could say he was a spammer. Um, and it just kind of gives me a reason, or a re kind of reminder why the person was banned in the first place. As you can see, my ban list is quite large because it's mostly Chinese spammers and hackers. So, let me show you, because you're going to be going, what the fuck, how on earth do I get these numbers? Because these are the, every person on Steam has a Steam ID. Now, a Steam ID is the big long number, and that refers to who you are, which is how you can ban people by the Steam ID. So... I'm just going to minimize this, and I believe there's a couple of nice chaps on my server who we're going to use as guinea pigs. So, we have Matty Willio, and we have po uh, Pogo Monkey. Now, in the server manager tool, it's handily done it for me. So, players online, so the easiest way if you wanted to set yourself up and set your friends up as admins, is get everybody to jump on the server, and then you, with your server manager tool, you would, you would find your friend, you would go, okay, Pogo Monkey, I want to make you an admin. So I click on there. And then this brings this up so I can easily copy it. Or I could just copy it from here. It's exactly the same thing. And then, one second, I just need to go back to Notepad++. So now, easiest way to do it is I would just paste that there for the minute. Copy a line. Paste it in. Change, his, change that in there and paste it in there. And it's just a quick way of doing it. And then I could say, right, I want him to be an admin. Like that, and then save. One thing to take note is that if you're adding admins, I think, don't hold me to this because sometimes it fucking changes, but usually if you're adding admins, I think you've got to stop and start the server. But I don't, you, well, you definitely don't need to stop and start the server when issuing bans. Um... So yeah, so that's it really. Um, on the server manager tool, what you'll find is when I say if I wanted to ban Pogo Monkey here and I press right click and ban player, 
what it would do is it would automatically add him to the bottom of this list okay so what it would mean is say if i changed my mind later down the line and i went oh i really like pogo monk he's a nice guy and i wanted to unban him what i would probably have to do i think you still have to do it is go into the bottom of here and uh, manually remove the blacklist line um, so what I would do is I would find out what his Steam ID is and then go and remove the line that is to do with him. So, uh, yeah. In the server manager, by the way, the allowed and reserved list has got nothing to do with the server admin.xml file. So, yeah, that is how you set yourselves up as admins. Like I say, uh, to be honest, if you, set, if you want to set yourself up and your friends up, these are the main commands that you need. There's probably a few more, actually, since... Because I've had this set like this for ages. Um, but, like I say, debug mode, kick people, set the time, ban people. That's to find out the coordinates of where everybody is on the map. Uh, I can't remember what S, G, S, C, S, T or C is. But I'm sure if I look in this fucking list. Yeah, S, oh, S, T is short for set time. So it's exactly the same thing as this. Um, Save world is S A. Well, I haven't got S A in there. Mind you, it saves every fifteen minutes anyway. Anyway, enough of the horse shit. That's how you do it. It doesn't need to be any longer than this. It doesn't need to be any long. Doesn't need to be long winded. I'm Big C Nine Hundred Two. If you like this video, please by all means tell your mom. Come on my server because my server is fucking awesome, and I'm adding tons of new mods. I've got some good modern tutorials coming for you guys soon. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.